Hello, it's Neil Ball, your online marketing coach from www.workwithneilball.com. I'm going to demonstrate how to create an RSS feed for Facebook notifications. And I'm also going to briefly talk about what an RSS feed is and the power of RSS feeds and what you can use RSS feeds for. At the end of this video on Facebook notification RSS feeds, I have some information about a great online business that you can run from home. Thank you for giving this video a thumbs up and giving it a comment and sharing it on Facebook and tweeting it on Twitter. Before I get started on demonstrating the Facebook RSS notification feed, I'm going to explain what an RSS feed is and how it can be used. RSS was originally an acronym for Rich Site Summary, although most people give the name Really Simple Syndication. RSS feeds are produced using standard web feed formats to publish blog entries, news headlines, video and audio. The feed formats are mainly prefixed with either RSS or Atom. So for example, RSS 2.0. The standard format for RSS content in the feed is XML, which ensures compatibility. By using RSS feeds, it also allows publishers to syndicate blog entries, news headlines, video and audio automatically. When you subscribe to a website's RSS feed, you then don't need to check for updates because you have a live feed that shows you the latest info in a reader, such as Microsoft Outlook, for example, on your PC. As well as reading RSS feeds on your computer, you can also use them to add content to a website or a Web 2.0 site, such as Hubpages, Squidoo, and WordPress.com. RSS feeds can be combined using an RSS aggregator, which allows you to have a number of different RSS feeds that you choose to combine into one feed so that you get updates as they happen from all of the websites that you're interested in at the same time. I'm now going to show you how an RSS feed can be used to feed content onto a website. I'm currently on my website, which is www.workwithneilball.com. If you go onto there and you scroll down the right hand side of the website, then what you'll see underneath recent posts is Neil D. Ball Twitter feed. Now, this is actually an RSS feed of my tweets on Twitter. It's actually quite complicated to create that. And if you want to do that, then I have produced a separate video that explains how to do it. But the concept of this is this content could be anything from any website. So if you wanted to put CNN News on there or BBC News, or you wanted to put feed from, from anywhere, your YouTube channel, for example, you could also feed that onto there. And every time you put content on there or content's updated, it automat automatically updates on your website. So here, for example, it's showing about the latest, I think I've got something like the latest 10 or 20 tweets that are, are showing on there. And I've got this set up so it rotates on the sidebar there. And the great thing about that is that it keeps the, pre the content on the page so that it looks like it's always changing. But the other thing about it is if someone's actually on the website and they see one of these things come up at the side, they could actually click on there and end up going somewhere else onto another site of yours or on the same site and continue to look at your content which obviously increases your engagement with that customer or that view, that user of your website, so that, which is obviously a good thing. So, um, so that, that's really how you use it. But really, you, can, you could also do the same thing if, if you were using a Web 2.0 site, for example. You could actually use an RSS feed and send content onto one of those. So if you went onto hub pages, for example, you might decide that you want to put your Twitter feed onto your hub pages page which you can do by using rss feeds so they're incredibly powerful because they allow you to syndicate content all over the place very easily so when you update one lot of content it ends up being syndicated to all of the places at the same time and also to your own desktop if you want to and and at the same time and the other thing obviously as I explained before is that you can take content from anywhere and aggregate it all together which means combine it together into one feed 
and either put it on your website or put it onto your computer so you get all the news and the information that you want all coming together. So I'll now demonstrate how to create the RSS feed. To create an RSS feed of Facebook notifications, it's a really straightforward thing to do. What you need to do is, if you go into your Facebook account and you go to notifications and click see all down at the bottom, then at the top of the page where it says your notifications, just under there, it says get notifications via text message or RSS. If you click RSS, then you'll see the RSS feed. I'm currently using Google Chrome. Google Chrome is not very user friendly or human friendly when it comes to RSS feeds. This is called an XML feed. And as you can see here, XML. And it isn't very human friendly. In fact, it's virtually unreadable in this case. You you wouldn't get any pleasure out of reading that because you'd have to filter out all the content that you didn't want to read because you've got all these tags and everything on there. So definitely my least favorite when it comes to reading an RSS feed. If you take the RSS feed and go into Internet Explorer and look at the RSS feed, then it's infinitely more readable because it's been formatted. They've taken all the tags or the code off the page. It's not in XML format. So the Facebook RSS feed in Internet Explorer looks much more readable and useful. And that might not seem important, but when you're looking at lots, if you've got a feed of many websites all feeding through an aggregator, and you're looking at the RSS feed in one of these browsers, then having the RSS feed in the most human friendly format is very important because obviously it means that you can see content that's interesting to you without having to somehow decipher something that's not human friendly, which you have to do with Google Chrome. You can also use Mozilla Firefox to look at the RSS feed. And when you do that, Again, it's in a very user friendly or human friendly format. So the Facebook notifications are all nicely laid out there with some easy to read information, which is absolutely superb. So my preferred format for RSS is normally Mozilla. It's not my favorite browser, but when it comes to RSS, it definitely is. I find that Internet Explorer sometimes gives you the full content, whereas Mozilla more often than not gives you a summary, which makes it easier to read. So that is how you read RSS feeds from your Facebook notifications. I hope that you found the information on reading RSS feeds from Facebook notifications useful. I have a great online money making opportunity that allows you to make money from a blog working from home. This home business is something that you can do without quitting your day job and it's something that you can do full time or part time. Many people have been able to quit the day job with this opportunity. For some free information on this great opportunity and more training from me, go to www.workwithneilball.com forward slash take action. And when you get there, enter your email address to get the free info. Please, if you've got some value from this video, then give it a thumbs up, add a comment, share it on Facebook and tweet it on Twitter. Again, go to www.workwithneilball.com forward slash take action and enter your email address for details of the online home business opportunity. And until next time, goodbye.